Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy, because sometimes I am just a little wacky. Um, excuse my voice, I'm still sick and I'm sure it is showing even though I do have a little bit of pain on my face. Um, troll, because I consider myself a cute troll. I think I clean up okay, but still a troll nonetheless. And so if that sounds good to you, keep watching. I do different types of videos. I have them all on this one channel, so I will label my videos accordingly so you can watch what you want to and not watch what you do not want to watch. I'm going to put chapstick on because my lips are forever dry, more so in the winter time. Also right now I'm going to put on one of the Fenty glosses just to add a little more color to my face, which this doesn't add a lot of color but gives a little dimension. I like these glosses. Each one adds just a little hint of color and each one seems to bring out a different pigment in my natural lip color. And so that is why I like these and they're mini which means I actually will use up the entire bottle. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, this is the, the brush I use for powder so if I start to sweat I'm just going to like dab some of the shine away. Um, so what I'm going to do now, well I'm going to show you what brushes I'm going to use. I'm going to use all Real Techniques brushes except for these two and I'm going to try to recreate the look that I did the other day. I don't know if I'm going to insert a picture or not. I probably should just for shits and giggles. Um, I didn't have any other foundation. I didn't have any makeup on at all. No foundation or anything. And so like the picture looks really busted and I didn't do my brows but I like how the eyeshadow look itself came out and I'm like I'm going to try and do that again. So all the other brushes um, Aside from these two that are not real techniques, <laughs> it's also the Sephora brush. But all the other brushes I'm going to use are real techniques brushes. And I made sure to use the same type of brush because I wanted to see how these shadows looked. So what I'm going to be using, I have two of the crease brushes. And I'm going to use one set for one eye and one set for the other eye so that I don't mix the colors. And so I'm separating them right now and so on each side of me my left side and right side I have one of these each I have a crease brush on one side each and I have um, two of the shader brushes the flat shader brushes well they're slanted actually which I really like and I have an extra one here and I don't know why I don't even think I used it the other day so what we're going to do right now is um, put on the Fenty eyeshadow primer So I'm going to do these looks and then afterwards um, or during, I'll tell you what I think about them, but I can tell you now. This is a foundation brush from Real Techniques. I've taken to using um, a brush for my primer because then it keeps my hands clean. I don't like applying makeup with my, with my hands or with my fingertips. Uh, it just because then I always want to just wash them right away and it just ends up taking more time. So I bought the number one, which is the true neutrals, and I purchased the number six, which is smoky because I realized I didn't have a smoky palette. And so I was trying to think of in my collection what don't I have that I can supplement with these. And then I read the reviews after I received them and I'm like, oh shoot, they sound like crap. <laughs> but this is the true neutrals and this is the. <laughs> The smoky. So we're going to start with the true neutrals. Before I get into this, because um, I'm not good at talking while I'm applying the makeup, people were saying like these are not worth $25. And when you do get two, it knocks off $5. And so it's $45 for 12 shadows. We spend more than $45 on 12 shadows. I don't get into the per gram or the weight or any of that because I have never in my 15 years of doing my face hit pan on any eyeshadow. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm not aspiring to be. So for me, spending $45 for 12 shadows is not unheard of and it's not ridiculous. And also another, um, some other views I saw was, I'm going to try and get started here. I'm going to take um, this shade right here. Is that the one I used initially? No, this shade here in the middle. Other people were saying like they didn't like um, these shadows they were saying they're not on par with the Fenty uh, Moroccan Spice palette. I loved <laughs> the Moroccan palette. I really did and I think I'm going to use the mirror that's in here. Um, 
so much so um, that mine did expire because the the Moroccan spice palette has a, a life a shelf span of well, I should say a shelf life of nine months and so it did expire on me because I just had too much makeup and so it wasn't getting used which is why I never hit pan on um, any of my eyeshadows when it went on sale Number one, I was excited when it went on sale for $29, because I'm thinking, oh, they're trying to get rid of her. Maybe she's coming out with more eyeshadows. Ha! <laughs> and look what happened. Now we have these snap eyeshadows. And so I was really excited about that. And so I did buy another one when it was on sale, which I have not opened yet, because I have the Natasha Denona stuff I need to get through. But I did, I did find that I do have more kick up in the pan with the snaps than I did with the Moroccan spice palette but I'd rather have kick up in the pan than have fallout on my face that's just me personally and I do get virtually no fallout with these shadows and I credit that to the slanted brushes the real technique slanted brushes um, when I say virtually to no fallout that means I have to actually look and be like okay there's a speck here there's a speck there like I have to look for it to find it versus when it is when you can just look at your face and be like, oh my gosh, I have like all this um, eyeshadow on my face. So that's what I mean when I say virtually no fallout. It's like I have to look for it. And I, I'm not getting fallout with these colors. I'm going to wipe this brush on this um, hand towel I have right here. And I'm going to take this lightest shade with the tip of this same brush. I did wipe it off. I think I just said that. And I came too far down under my brow bone. <laughs> Cause I'm using the mirror here instead of the mirror in here and so I'm having trouble with my vision yeah that looks jacked up <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> and so what I want to do is because I took that up too high I'm going to go back into this middle shade and just add some more to just kind of tone this down because I think that looks a little too bright and so I'm going to switch and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm going to take this darker shade right here and take this directly into the crease. It does help when I use the, this mirror instead of the one that's on my table. dip back into it because I'm going to put some in my outer corner. I find these really do work well together. I find I do not have trouble blending. The first color I had trouble blending and I know that it is because of the Fenty eyeshadow primer which to me is a tacky primer and so I know I do have to stipple the color and then go back and blend it or else it, it skips and it drags my skin because I have all this extra skin right here. Some people will say it's because of the brushes I'm using. If you want to say that, that's fine. But I know the products I use and I know the difference between when I use the Fenty primer, when I use the, a different type of primer. So I'm going to wipe that off again and I'm going to switch to um, this angled shader brush and I'm going to take this color here. I was a little intimidated by I'm not intimidated. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the shimmer colors because, and there is kick up. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see some on the side here. And so there's kick up in the pan. So then I tap my brush off and I press the color onto my lid. When I see other, when I've seen other videos where people were using this color, they were just going in and swiping it and it was a lot of fallout. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like what did I do buying these shadows? But I, even though right now I'm looking, I don't see any fallout on my face. So I take it and I press. I love these brushes. And I know there's this huge thing now, well probably over the last year of natural hair brushes. I have skin allergies and natural hair brushes I have an adverse reaction to. And so I'm not able to use natural hair brushes. But I, I'm looking at this and I don't see any fallout. I don't see what the problem is but for me the solution is these brushes and they're real techniques brushes you can get from Ulta going back to that crease brush not adding any color but just blending this in because I did take that lid color 
up a little bit into the crease. So I'm going to wipe off that slanted brush and I am going to take this light shade here press the brush into it tap off the excess and i'm just going to place that right here and that's where that's going and that's that and so i'm going to take go back to that crease brush wiping it off again not adding any any extra color and just blending that in and feathering that over and so that, that's that look. That's one look. Not quite done yet, but that's the look. And so I'm going to put this one away. And I'm going to work on the other eye using the number six palette. <clears throat> I do wish that there was a lighter shade in here to use for a crease color. But there's not. And so at first I thought, why are there two browns in here? This one to me is cooler tone. That one's more warm tone. I don't like cool tones on me, but I did use this and I am going to use this one here in the corner to put in my crease because it's going to kind of get covered up mostly anyway. There's a lot of kick up in the pan with this color, but as I said, I'd rather tap it out of the pan and tap the excess off my brush versus I'm getting it on my face I was going to say that I put primer over here but yeah I did <laughs> I am like so out of it this color to me is dry um, and I do remember having problems before with blending out this color it did blend out but I, it it took me some time so I went back in again so I could smooth it out put, smooth it out as I place it and then go back and blend it and I am really sorry for my voice because to me I sound really grainy excuse me I hope you guys didn't hear that I just belched so if you don't know, now you know. And also this one does look a little patchy, so I'm going to tap a little bit more where I am seeing the patchiness. This, I believe, is the only shade that I that I did have trouble working with. But it does blend out. I think it does look nice. It just took me a little extra work. Thank you for watching this video. I think it's going to be almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. I was going to say quicker. Um, which means the same thing. But I feel like I'm going in slow motion, which is how I usually feel when I don't feel well. And so we're going to leave that like that. I kind of want to take it up a little bit higher, but I don't want to spend a lot of time. So that's what we have there. I am not going to do a brow highlight because there's not really one, because I think this one would be too bright. And plus, because I've already used this crease brush for um, this darker color, I don't have another brush here to use for that. And I did that in the other video, and it turned out to be too bright, and I didn't like it. Well, not the other video, when I played with this the other day. So that's going to stay that way. And so now what we're going to do, we're going to take the darker brown, this one in the middle, same brush, I'm going to wipe it off a little bit on this hand towel that's here this that you hear is me clicking the excess off of the brush this one is blending very smoothly this is a dark <laughs> do you see that difference they don't look that different <laughs> in the pan but look at my eye it, it almost looks black on my eye. I mean, I, I'm digging it because this is a smoky palette, so it is supposed to be smoky, but like, wow. So now, you know, using this, I see why they do have two um, dark colors in here. And I'm going to put a little bit on the outer corner of my eye. The shade I'm going to use next 
is this shimmery shade and this is the one when i saw people using it it was fallout all on their face and people were saying how horrible this is and i was just like oh my gosh um using that flat well not flat but the angled shader brush as i do with all shadows i brush it in and sometimes i'll wiggle a little bit and then i tap it off and i just press it i did not wet the brush i'm not going to use my finger i'm looking for it and i see no fallout and so for those and also i'm not sweeping it either and so this is really just pressing it onto my lid i'm going to go back in again because i'm seeing a spot that i missed and i don't want to brush it over I want to just press it in now and I didn't keep it on all day I just did feel fallout somewhere down here um, so I don't know throughout the day if this will fall out and right now I'm just tapping and so this is what we have it almost looks like it has like a um, it's not quite dual chrome but you can see different colors in there and on my eye, it's looking like there's some gold. It's just looking like there's some green. And I'm really digging it. Like, if I was, you know, 40 years younger, not 40 years younger, from 50, I'd be 10. If I was, like, 30 years younger and still clubbing, I would definitely wear this to the club. I'm going to take that crease brush and carefully... I'm only going to swipe this one way instead of back and forth because I don't want fallout. And even though I did feel a few flakes, I'm taking this because I'm sweating. Um, I don't see it on my... Okay, wait a minute. I see a few over here. And I just wiped that away. And that was it. I saw a few of the flakes, well, the glitter particles. And that's gone. And I'm sure that's from when I swiped across my crease with that. But other than that, like, I don't see any fallout. So I'm going to try to wipe this off. These brushes do hold. <laughs> Sorry for shaking the table. So this is what we have so far. And I know that looks weird. One eye one way and one eye the other way. And I'm going to go into this light shade right here with that same slanted brush. I'm going to get a little bit on there and put that in my inner corner. So I'm just going to press because that's another shimmer shade, but it's not glittery like the, that black one. So we're going to put that there. Another thing I tried just to try it, I'm wiping off this brush again because I, I did want to try all the colors. I'm going to take this purple that's in the middle, this one right here, I wiped off that slanted shader brush. I'm going to press that in. And I'm going to put that... I'm going to press that in the center. And it shows up really well. I don't know if the glitter particles helped it to stick or what, but... Can you guys see that? I am really digging this palette. So for all of those negative reviews I saw... Like very relevant to me because I am I don't have any fallout. I just had those few specs. The colors are showing up well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is using that pencil brush. I'm going to take this black, which I have not used surprisingly because that dark brown turned out black, yeah. and I'm going to use this as a liner for both eyes, for my upper lash line for both eyes. And so I'm going to tap that off, and this worked really well as a liner because that dark brown is so dark like I don't miss <laughs> um feeling like I need a liquid liner I can just stick with powder and just put this on as a liner so I am like digging it I am really digging both of these palettes. I was looking at the dark, um, see what I mean? It's like it's hard for me to do makeup and talk at the same time. I was looking at the dark neutrals and the cadet, 
palette, but then I thought it looked a lot like, well, to me, it looked a lot like the Viseart uh, Milieu palette that I have. And so I opted not to get those because I already have a palette. And that one is travel friendly, but I don't travel with it because I'm just so paranoid. Like if I drop it and it cracks, I'll be mad because that palette was hella expensive. And so now what we're going to do, since we're still in this palette, we're going to take, what am I going to take? I'm going to take this purple in the middle with that little pencil brush thingy that's not a real Technics brush. And I'm going to put that underneath my lower lash line on this side. I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm going to take that light shade. I don't know why I didn't just do the light one first and put that on the inner corner of my lower lash line. And that really didn't show up too well. That purple just overpowers <laughs> everything I put near it. Okay, so that showed up a little bit. For the other one, back to the number one palette, we're going to take, I don't know, I guess we're going to take this brown shade here. Excuse me. I should have started with the lighter color first, right? And we're going to put this under the lower lash line over here. Oh, that came out really thick. All right, so let's just make it look like it's supposed to be like that. And we're going to put this under. I didn't bring any mascara here, over here. We're going to wipe this brush off. Which shade did I not use? We're going to take this lighter shade right here. Did I say that right? This lighter shade right here. I don't know what I thought I said. And put that in the inner corner. So this is the number one palette. True Neutrals. This look is the number six Smoky palette. Did I cover my eye when I did this on the other side? Let me do that again because I don't I really don't remember that fast. Okay, I did it this way. The number one, True Neutrals. Number six. Why am I doing it like that? <laughs> Welcome to the crazy. Number six, the Smoky Palette. And so I am happy with these. And of course, as we all know by now, they snap together. So if I wanted to travel with it, I can do a neutral look or I can do a smoky look. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think of this video. Well, not necessarily the video, because I know I'm kind of crazy and out there, and I know my voice is grainy and I'm not feeling well. But let me know what you what your what your <laughs> not chore like doing a chore. What your thought thoughts are on the number one true neutrals. Or the, I don't know why I didn't do this before. Or the Smoky. And if you have any of her other palettes, like what, what are your thoughts? What are your ideas? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you get fallout? Do you not get fallout? Um, and do you have a brush preference? And so this is the look that we have. And so thank you guys for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm coming back real quick to say that as I was looking in this mirror down here, I am seeing some glitter on my face. It's not noticeable from here, but when I got up close to it, and because I don't have zoom or all of that fancy stuff, you might not be able to see it, but I'm seeing fallout here from that black glitter shade. But as I said, I have to look for it. It's not like, oh my gosh. Just wanted to let you know that. So there is some fallout from that black shade. Thank you. Bye.